Hello Lolas, welcome back to my channel. Guys, if you're new to this channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Click the bell to be a part of the notification squad. And don't forget to get leave me a comment below and give this video a thumbs up. Now, today I am back with yours truly. Of course, this is Aspen Pool. <laughs> um, so I'm going to change him into a different onesie. And I'm going to tell you guys why I like to, um, why I'm changing him into the different onesie is because I, some babies I like in different style of clothes. I don't mind him in short sleeves, but I really love him in long sleeve. Um, I don't know. It's just something, you know, some babies I'm just really weirded out about like, you know, a weird, like, I'm just like, I like this on them. I like that on them, but I don't really like to cover up his legs. I love looking at his cute little legs. I know it sounds so crazy, but I have like this. I just love, love, love the way that the Aspen and Abby and Ashby and Alex, <laughs> they all have the same limb. So that's why I named them all. Um, I love the way their legs are shaped. Um, so again, this is my version of Aspen by Claire Teller. Um, it was, he was painted by me. And, um, as you can see, he has quite a bit of modeling on him, even though he's a, um, a brown skin baby. So I'm going to move this over to him. So this is him. I think I'm actually catching him in better lighting now. But this is my little man. And what I, I also love is that he actually sucks his thumb. So, and I he can pretty much suck his thumb. Like, that's, I think that's the main one that I usually give him. But sometimes he will put the other one in his mouth as well. So, it's just really, really, really nice. Um, but, yeah. So, this this is my, my sugar bear. So, I am in a very rare form as some may say um right in this moment because i actually am ready to really really continue to streamline my collection to find what it is that i really really love and want for my personal collection so therefore i've been letting go a lot of babies babies that some babies that i i love and, and i like and nothing was wrong with them but i want something else or i'm you know i got too many going on in here so now um for those that may not know um baby warren which was a private order um he left um kenya left so I'm I'm getting down to the wire. I'm meeting in the chatterbox um, tomorrow. I will be going live, and I will be meeting with them and talking with them about a lot of the different changes and stuff like that that I I I think that I am ready to make. So I'm going to be selling probably at least three. <laughs> to throw that i'm gonna be selling probably at least three of my three more babies out of my personal collection um don't hold your head down man see like he could suck this thumb too if i want him to but um and then sometime like i'll lay him and i know his little I'll lay him like this and then I'll give him his thumb. And I'll pose his little self with that's your bell plate. It's your bell plate. But yeah, I I like the I like long sleeve on him. He's so sweet. But anyway, um what was I saying? Oh, yeah, I'll probably let go about three more babies out of my personal collection. So um sometime 
I am guilty of holding on to babies um, knowing that I need to uh, make room for other babies and also some kits I go out and I buy them specifically for my collection and then I get them and I I think I oh I should sell this one I should sell that one it's just it's just crazy just all the thinking that goes behind it and then when you do YouTube and you're on social media you have everybody weighing in with their opinions on who you should keep and who is the best baby and this that, and other and sometimes the baby that may be the most popular or the one that everybody else love may not be the one that you want to keep but sometimes you do feel a little pressure to keep them because you know everybody else is going to have 10 cows if you don't I'm just telling y'all I'm sure a lot of people don't care I'm sure a lot of people will say it's your collection, you do what you want, hun, and all that, and that's fine, and I have that same attitude at times, but the truth of the matter is, is that I really care about my Lola's, and I really be trying to, see, he'll suck both of his little thumbs, oh, sweetie, my sweetie, beady. I'm telling you guys, he has the best painted mouth. <laughs> I I am so proud of myself. I know I say a lot of different things, but I am so proud of myself with the inside of his mouth. I I don't know why I spent that much time on the mouth, but I did. Like, come at Puka. I gotta just look at it again when I describe. So like. I don't know like he has his mouth inside his mouth just it just it's just cool and his tongue the color is like perfectly um realistic in his gums and stuff it's just it's nice even I even painted to the back of his throat but I'm gonna put on him some little cream color socks and he will this is just what he will be wearing for the day until I decide otherwise um yeah so yeah he is he is a real cutie so I really enjoy him but um so yeah I am I am definitely going to be uh making some changes and letting some babies go and you know, just, um, just really like fine tuning my, my space. And I don't know, I, 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 there's only one that I'm rocking with, like, am I going to keep this one or not? So I'm, I'm definitely making room like I you know I am starting to see a little bit of space in here and it's starting to feel really good um so I'm definitely going to be letting one of my bigger babies go um and probably um I'm trying to think yeah it's definitely going to be one or two um, yeah, it's going to be at least two babies that probably will leave. And then that is going to be it. But, um, I, like I said, I just, I am not, um, totally sure. So by tomorrow, I'll be talking it out. <laughs> I know it's dragging it out, but anyway, I'll be talking it out live with, the chat about sometimes it just feels better when I talk about it out loud and then I kind of can really really make the right decision at that time I am working on a lot of different new faces and new babies um, but I 
am going to be changing a lot of stuff the way I do stuff. And so that's going to really, really make a difference. Um, make a real, it's going to make a difference with, with me and how I work and what I am actually painting and putting out because, um, oh, ow, <laughs> you know how I go, ow, look at him. <laughs> But yeah, I'm gonna be really um, changing some stuff. But anyway, I'm gonna go. That's baby Aspen. Um, and like I said, he fits newborn clothes really nicely. Um, I'm just a sweetie pie. So that is what I want him to wear. And sometimes I lay him, like he will just be in a crib or if he's not in a crib, he is usually, like he was on the side with all the other babies in the little lineup. But normally, um, he is usually in my room, but right now I have some projects that I'm working on that is kind of occupying that space. So, um, but then he'll be able to get his spot back soon. But yeah, so that's that. Um, what else? Oddly enough, a lot of people, I don't show Phoebe that much, but she's still my very special baby and I dress her um occasionally and she is always in the room with me as well so you know collectors are weird like you know every, everything is not for show all the time and just because a person don't show a baby all the time doesn't mean they don't love them so i'm just one of those all right so let me know in the comment section if there's a particular question that you might have for me and i can answer it in the next video later